Hello! Welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all well. Um, if you're new here, my name's Lucy. I'm Jade. <laughs> Awkward so, as ever. Sorry, I was staring at the cat as well. <laughs> <laughs> so, we thought, I mean, we've got a new sofa, why not film on it? So yeah, this is our Veganuary update. So, it is now... February the 5th. The 5th of February, so we thought it's about time we updated you guys and reflected on how we found it. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go through a few pros and cons that we've conjured up together, our experience, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And yeah, ultimately, I guess, let you know what we have decided going forward. So, originally, it was my idea, wasn't it, to take part in Veganuary? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, why not? Let's just set ourselves a little challenge. It's not often that I do things and I actually... <laughs> Stick to it. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Don't mind Kendall. Kendall, what are you doing? You didn't do Veganuary. Oh, brilliant. <sighs> okay. Do you want to start it again? So, yeah, it was my idea to originally do Veganuary. Um, what is that? That sounds a bit of a challenge. I'm not very good at normally sticking to things. You were a bit more apprehensive, weren't you? Yeah. So, I'll do it with you, obviously, because it would make sense too. Yeah. Um, Mostly worried about your cup of teas, because yeah. they are life, aren't they? Yeah, in, in our household they are, yeah. Um, oh yeah, because we're so, we were so used to just semi-skimmed milk, weren't we, that I was I was a bit like, oh god, is there going to be anything that's going to be you know similar, or am I going to like the alternative? And But then I went to Soy Barista, um, and I've, I've loved it ever since, I've not had anything but that. And when I go to like Costa or Starbucks now, I do have um, soy milk. Um, that's my go-to, isn't it, now? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that was a big one for me. Yeah, that was your main concern, really, wasn't it? And yeah. actually, we soon found that you do get used to it. Yeah, I wasn't too fussed about, like, giving up meat or, you know, choosing alternatives. It was mainly just cups of tea. Yeah. So, yeah, we just wanted to challenge ourselves, see if we could do it. Um, we are aware nowadays there is a lot more out there mm -hmm. for it as well. So, it's probably completely different to if you did Veganuary, like, five years ago kind of thing. So... Overall, we found it was pretty accessible, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we were able to stick to it really well. Like we, can't, we can say we've hundred percent stuck to it, can't we? Yeah. We, we haven't have, yeah. swayed once. No. We haven't even thought about like swaying, if that's what you want to call it. But no. Yeah, we weren't tempted at all. Where we just go, oh, but then it's only a month, so it's not that long when you think about it. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, um, we just thought we'd kind of run through a few. Pros and cons that we found our experience. Um, obviously, these are solely just our opinions. Mm -hmm. it, this is literally just a reflection on what we've thought. It's nothing. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm trying to say. People make. This is not veganism as a whole. This is just our uh, yeah. one month experience, isn't it? Yeah. We don't want to offend anyone. We don't. Everyone has different opinions. Mm -hmm. So these are just the things that we've come up with ourselves from our journey. So, yeah. should we start with the cons or the pros? Uh, start bad and then end good. Alright, we'll start bad then. So, I think we can both fully agree on this first con, can't we? Mm -hmm. Which is the cheese. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think, apart from the, the what's the one that is the slices that came with the good The Vio Life. That's probably been the better one. Um, that, that of all the cheeses we've tasted, but yeah, we've never found a cheese that's nice. Yeah, and to be fair, it's not like we eat loads of cheese no. anyway, but it's things like pizzas, not that we eat lots of pizza, but it is just... It's the things that cheese are added to, so we had quite a lot of um, Gusto or Gusto, what you want to call it. They came, a lot of them came with cheese, like, before, prior to, you know, going vegan, and we were used to, like, you know, the cheddar blocks, and then when they came with the vegan, it was vegan cheese, so it was, you know, it was... Yeah, and it's not a be-all and end-all, we have, we um, just haven't found one, obviously, that tastes like proper cheddar which we're not going to but i think it is just one of them things that you'd get used to over time yeah so then secondly we do like a bit of chocolate every now and then don't we yeah and we have so far struggled to find a chocolate that we could just snack on like we would say maltesers or a twix, we'd twix. Yeah. yeah there's nothing that we'd found that we were like overly sold with necessarily mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the only brand that we have really, really enjoyed so far, because obviously we've not tried everything, this is, like I say, just what we've tried so far. Yeah. 
the truffle pig chocolate bars that I brought for you yeah. for our anniversary were incredible. Yeah, we ordered some, well, I ordered some more this morning. Yeah, uh, this Jade ordered some more because they were that good. Um, but yeah, they've been really good ones. Yeah. The ones that your mum got us were nice as well, but it's one of them where you can't have too much because the texture of it is a bit like... Yeah. So yeah, we've just found chocolate a little bit more difficult. Um, no more bars, don't forget them. Yeah, they've no more really bars good. have been really good. Yeah. We're just not found one that we're like 100% yeah we love that but we have got a few more different um brands to try so watch this space yeah. for an upcoming video yeah um this is a difficult one because obviously meat can be quite expensive depending mm -hmm. on what you buy but mm -hmm. we have found that being vegan is slightly more expensive haven't we yeah yeah so lots of alternatives are quite expensive for example the bacon that I really enjoyed, the this brand. Yeah. That pack of bacon's three pounds, whereas like a pack of bacon you could pick up in the shop for yeah, not that much. No. Um sorry, we're just really distracted by Kendall. It's <laughs> just rolling around our lounge. So yeah, we found it a little bit more expensive. Um not dramatically, but we're aware that because it's not so mainstream yet, like it's becoming more mainstream. It's we always going to be, isn't it? We reckon over time it's probably is something that will become more cheaper purely because yeah. it's not quite popular yet. So yeah. they kind of have to charge more for it if that makes sense. Yeah. Um it's not been a deal breaker for us, has it? No. And it's not we've not significantly noticed a difference. We're just aware of little bits that are more expensive. Like um, yeah, I mean our shopping isn't hasn't gone up dramatically. It's just individual things that would, yeah. would be cheaper if you were if you weren't vegan. Like for example, milks they're expensive. Like you said, bacon they're expensive. So it's just little things, I think. Yeah, I think veganuary kind of helped us a little bit because because every shop was kind of like, oh my god, do veganuary? Like, oh, that's yeah. Everything was kind of like sales or promotion. So I think we I think we felt quite lucky. But now we've come out of that. Yeah. yeah, I think you can. A lot of things were on offer, weren't they? Yeah, yeah. And also, our shopping takes longer because yes. you constantly look at the back of things, double checking. Yeah. Because if it's not labelled vegan, because a lot of things are now labelled vegan. If it's not labelled vegan, we spend ages just scanning, re-scanning it again, like constantly checking: is this vegan? Are we allowed this? Mm -hmm. and it's not a problem. I love a good walk around a supermarket, but you don't, do you? No, I'm. Jay's an in and out person, up. aren't you? Yeah, I'm afraid of picking things up. I'm like, oh, I can't have that. I'm putting it back. And the one thing that I do want to acknowledge is that this is our experience from now. We are aware that way back in a, a few years ago, things were never labelled vegan, whereas mm -hmm. a lot of supermarkets now are getting to grips with labelling non-advertised vegan things as vegan. Yeah. So we are aware that it's a lot better now than it was, but it's still not like at a point where you spend ages looking at the back of packets. Yeah. Yeah. Just don't want to... Um, don't want to put people off. Yeah. Uh, next, do you want to? <laughs> no. Okay, so oh, wait, you said it, you suggested it could be a pro and a con. So. Yeah. So we did say like we pro. have mentioned this before, obviously. And I'm sorry if this is too much information for anybody. A couple of the viewers have said the same thing. Though, yeah, they have agreed helped. that you do tend to go to the toilet a lot more. Which we are not sure if it's a pro or a con. Obviously, it can be a con if it captures you off guard. <laughs> you're not in a place yeah. where you can go. Um, but then I guess it's been good because it's like keeping like everything regular and it's a good thing mm -hmm. so this was kind of a bit of an in the middle one for it was a wish. prom yeah yeah <laughs> exactly you can see the pros and cons list it'll it be was in the middle yeah, <laughs> yeah absolutely we're like it's a con but it's a pro yeah depends which way you look at it i guess exactly but yeah that's something that we've been getting used to isn't it yeah we won't touch too much more on it yeah let's move on now. <laughs> or whatever but yeah we just thought we had we had to we mention it we're going to keep it real with you guys exactly um Next one, which we haven't actually experienced yet because no. we're in lockdown, but we think this could be a potential con if we weren't in a lockdown, is eating out. Yes. A lot of places do now have vegan options, which is great, but a lot of the time it is limited. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want that or fancy that, you're limited really, aren't you? Yeah. So that's something that if we were to carry on, we may find a bit of a con, but we wanted to mention it, but even though we've not experienced it, we thought we'd just... Yeah, I think it goes back to like shopping doesn't it like places are more aware of the the fact that you know people are vegan and vegetarian and that you know that that's more kind of more normal if that makes sense so i think you know places aren't aren't fully up to speed but they're getting there but yeah i think 
you're still limited on the choice you have. Yeah, so like we've not necessarily ate out, but like I went to Costa earlier, I thought, oh, should I get myself something to eat? And the only thing they have is the cheese toasty or the panini that we've had. Mm -hmm. And I didn't fancy either of them, so therefore I didn't have anything, I just had my coffee. Mm -hmm. So it is just that they just, yes, there's still, there, yes, there's lo way more options than normal than there used to be, but mm -hmm. it's still quite limited and if you don't fancy it, you could be caught off kind yeah, of thing. definitely. I guess you just can't really be too choosy. Mm -hmm. um, the next one is an interesting one, isn't it? So it's... Yeah. It's one of them that, it's not something that we let get to us or like you should let get to you, but it's judgment from other people and it's one of them where you can you either get people that go, oh wow, like, that's really cool, like how have you found it, kind of thing, and you've got people going like, the, you know, your typical like, oh, what are you doing that for? Vegan, sort of thing, oh, yeah. kind of thing, and it's just so annoying. It's not really a con that puts us off, but it's just kind of like that aura around it is just really frustrating. Mm. Yet, actually, I think they are just they're just uneducated and. Are just stuck in their ways i guess aren't they like you don't need a reason for wanting to be vegan anyway mm -hmm. like you just you do you at the end of the day mm -hmm. and people just think you're being awkward when you know you're not really. yeah and it kind of links into our last con which is the feeling of how far do you take it because this kind of also can come from a different angle from people that are vegan that can kind of judge you mm. with a sense of so you feed your pets yeah meat then and oh but you still shop at mainstream shops that aren't necessarily vegan or sustainable and it's that kind of judgment that you can get from actual vegans as well like you have given up meat and everything yet that's almost still not good enough like you've still got to keep on going and that is a process it's not a quick fix overnight because it is such a lifestyle change yeah and you can get judgment from other vegans that are like oh you know what I mean? Yeah, I do, yeah. We can take like multivitamins and vitamins to help counteract what we're not getting from meats, whereas for animals, we they don't speak to us, so we don't know what they're lacking or, you know, if, if they need extra of this or extra of that. So, yeah, I think in terms of like pet food, it's that can be quite difficult for sure. Yeah. Mm. And obviously clothing-wise, we don't wear anything that's... No, we don't wear animal fur or anything like that. We don't wear but like leather or We're not like necessarily... That. We've not necessarily adapted like the sustainable no. life as such. Um, but I mean, like I say, so far most of the support we've had from other people really has good. been really good and positive. Like the but there's just the always channel. a select few that are like, yeah. "Oh, are you doing this though? And are you doing this?" And it's yeah. like, well, it is a long process. Mm -hmm. so, like, just bear with us, kind of thing. Yeah, and like the people on your channel already, they've been really supportive, haven't they? They've, you know, they've the best is how it's going they've been giving us some you know our tips and hints of what we should and shouldn't be doing which has been really great and they've not once well i don't think anyway they've not judged us in any way have they so i think this like the, the little community base that you've built have been they've been really good i think like you say it's just select a few select people that aren't part of that if that makes sense mm -hmm. so should we go on to the good points and on a high yes let's end on things we have a loved about vegan mm -hmm. life vegan life so do you want to start with the first one go for it i said do you want to start oh no with you, go. There you go there you go there you go no please what's wrong with you <laughs> so our it? first one is the feeling of knowing that you're saving animals slash the environment so like since being vegan and i know it's only been a month i happily drive past the lorries full of animals and, th and get like a sense of like pride and like, well, I'm not contributing to that. Do you feel the same? Yeah, I do, yeah. Because we all know how horrible it is. Mm. Um, and yeah, it has just been like a really nice feeling, hasn't it? So if people ever do comment, you, and you can just think to yourself, well, I'm You're not contributing something. to suffering. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that's definitely been a pro. Um, definitely felt really good about that. Next up, it's kind of been like the health benefits that we've felt so far. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I do know that some people, veganism has really helped them health-wise. And some people potentially have had to go back to a more of a balanced kind of in-between because of health reasons. And I know that it's an individual thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody reacts differently to certain things. So far, we've felt really good from it, haven't we? Yeah. So. More energised. We've started eating more fruit and veg, yeah. just naturally, because you kind of do. Um, yeah, we felt way more, more energised, haven't yeah. we? Like, we felt more 
of a drive to like work out mm -hmm. and do things, haven't yeah. we? Yeah. Which has been really, really nice. Like that's something that I'm not really that like, used to. No, me either. <laughs> it's not something I always wanted to do either. Like I wouldn't. I'm always like, oh god, exercise. But actually, I'm been like, okay, yeah, let's do you know X, Y, Z. Do you want to go for a walk? Do you want to go for a jog? Or you know do stuff and I don't know if it's just more like psychological but yeah and even if it is it's still a good thing oh yeah definitely yeah we've definitely felt a lot better from it haven't we mm -hmm. like um even weight loss like I was telling my mum how much we'd lost and she was like but you weren't doing it for that I was like no I genuinely wasn't doing it to lose weight however it's a bonus that we have mm -hmm. so I've lost half a stone so far how much have you lost well, last time I checked it was like two point 2.5 pounds so it's not a lot but yeah it's better. i have more to lose so i'm gonna lose it quicker than jade because i'm bigger than her so yeah we've both definitely seen weight loss mm -hmm. which is something that we both went into the new year knowing that we had to do anyway yeah so it's almost been great that we've not really tried as such we've just been like i say eating more fruit moving a bit more yeah i think because we have still enjoyed our chocolate puddings at night haven't we? yeah yeah because after a while i'm i'm sure you probably will like plateau at some point yeah um so yeah it will just be the moving more but if we if it's being vegans making us feel more energized then we're naturally going to do that mm -hmm. anyway so it is just a really good yeah we're in a good like cycle at the minute aren't mm, we definitely. And we're kind of hoping it doesn't end yeah <laughs> so next up um basically the variety that we've had yeah so like we've basically just completely mixed up our life really haven't we mm -hmm. so we've gone from eating meat and dairy products and everything to not mm -hmm. and it's just opened a complete new palette for us hasn't it yeah like the goose days we've had have been absolutely incredible mm. so much so that two of them we've had like three times now haven't we yeah we we've have. enjoyed it that much and we never would have had them if we weren't vegan so there's just been so much more that we've gone to try mm -hmm. like new things so like that bacon amazing um have you got anything specifically that you really enjoyed just like Making puddings. Pinpoint. Puddings have been really good. She's forgetting the main thing here. What? The no duck vegan spring rolls. Oh yeah. From <laughs> Morrison's. They are. Ooh. <laughs> we so never good. would have tried them. True. So we never good. would have tried them. I think we must have I think we must have had about five boxes of them. <laughs> if you live near us and you try and go to our, the local Morrison's and get them, there probably won't be any because Jane bought them. <laughs> I did come home the day, was it like two boxes came yeah. in with? Yeah. I just, I, honestly, they're just so good. Yeah. Um, like the veg inside so crunchy and nice. They, they, would, they are really, really good. Yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. And for example, we had that Indian on our anniversary, that takeaway, and we are now having it again tonight. The, uh, a vegan option because we genuinely really liked really it. really enjoyed it yeah. like we're so excited to order it i know i can't wait and we actually need to order <laughs> it oh my god <laughs> so yeah we just really we've really enjoyed the variety haven't we yes and the enjoyment and yes shopping may take longer but it's been the enjoyment of finding new things go oh let's try that kind of thing kendall is coming to join you again <laughs> thanks kendall have you enjoyed being vegan she doesn't care yep so yeah we've really enjoyed the variety um and yeah <laughs> and this kind of leads on to the that point is that it's been quite accessible and i know i mentioned that it takes longer and it's slightly more expensive yeah but yeah. it has been really accessible which has helped with supermarkets promoting veganuary definitely um but I'm aware that for my sister being vegan for how long she has, there's just so much more out there now, isn't there? Yeah. Like we can go to Costa, we can go to Starbucks, we can go to Greg's, like if we're out somewhere and you can easily pick something up. Mm -hmm. Obviously we haven't tried restaurants yet because we haven't been able to, but we're aware that there's so many restaurants that have vegan menus even. I think the restaurants that we tend to go to, um, I think they, they are thinking back, I think they do like specific vegan vegetarian, you know, type meals. So I think, the places that we go, I think, will be okay. But I think it's if we were to branch out further afield, would mm. be a bit. Would have to do the old checking the menu beforehand, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it can only get better. It, yeah. Each year, it just keeps on getting better. So there's there's going to be a point where you can't go anywhere without there being a vegan option, mm -hmm. which is really really positive. Yeah. Um, and the next one, it kind of links into our first pro, which is the sense of pride. Yeah. And not even just by saving animals and the environment and things like that but i think we're proud that we've actually managed to stick to it oh 100%, yeah yeah haven't we 100 percent. and i feel like we have put our all into it mm. we've really really tried and somebody did actually comment that we've kind of done it like justice by the amount that we have tried 
Um, like we tried tofu for the first time the other day, didn't oh, we? I loved it yesterday. yesterday. Yeah, and it we had it in really a chili. Good. Really, really good. So I do feel like we have kind of given it our all with us in a sense of trying new things, haven't we? Yeah. We haven't just found one thing we like and just made that for the whole month to kind of scrape by and get on with it. We have pushed ourselves out there, I think, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. I think on the tofu subject, it was you mentioned yesterday that they replaced that instead of egg, so they have... Scrambled scram tofu. So I think I might try that. Yeah. Give it a, give it a whirl with some avo on top if you can have avocado. Yeah, of course. Um, but yes, yeah, that. so yeah, it's stuff like that that I never would have thought to have before, but now I've had it in a chilli and someone said that it's good on toast, so I'm, I'm more... And more of like willing to try it if that makes sense yeah well apparently i just did 12 sets by sitting here oh <laughs> it's all them hand, hand movements <laughs> that's what she's doing she's she's moving her hands like she's talking but she's actually just getting a step so she's like Ooh. i can't wait to watch it work so i'm just like come on <laughs> <laughs> you just get 10,000 steps in for our indian <laughs> quick i've got to get my yeah i think how many am i i'm only on i'm only on 2,000 <laughs> wait what am i on I've, I've been off today as well I'm on 1,900 and I, wear, and I have been wearing this all day. It's my day off. Oh, That's embarrassing. Anyway, back to the pros. Um, there's pretty much been an alternative for everything that we've wanted, hasn't there? Yeah, it? yeah. I, so, I, don't, I don't think the... Sorry about that. Our camera seems to not like us going any longer than 25 minutes. I think there must just be a time limit. Yeah, I might have to change the setting, potentially. Um, I can't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, there's an alternative for everything. So... Everything we've what necessarily wanted, there's been an alternative for. So your typical, like your chicken, your beef. Yeah. I do want to try that. This, you know, this brand. Oh, they, they do do it. This is not chicken. I want to try yeah. that. I saw it at Tesco. Yeah. And I forgot to pick it up. But I do want to try that next to see, yeah. see what that's like. Yeah. I feel like we were very fortunate doing Veganuary in 2021. Like a point where veganism has come so far. Yeah. That there's pretty much everything that we could have ever wanted isn't there mm -hmm. even steak mm -hmm. like we tried vegan steak wasn't that great it, but we, we tried it and there was an alternative for it yeah exactly but again you have we, have we have to try these things because you never know yeah yeah and nothing not, not everything's been spot on and brilliant but the alternative is there if you want it or need it mm -hmm. it has been pretty interesting seeing all the different things that are out there yeah it's pretty amazing definitely so yeah, they're mainly, they're our main ones that came to us, aren't they? Pros mm -hmm. and cons. Um, like I say, that's just generally our opinion of one month's worth of being vegan. So, you know, don't take it as gospel. Um, you guys will probably have completely different opinions. Yeah, I think the you, I think the viewers that are, you know, have been vegan for a long time, I think they'll probably, you know, they might agree with some of the things they say or they might give us a few, you know, pointers and what, what to do next sort of thing, if that makes sense. So... Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Say yeah. <laughs> Are you alright, Lydia? I forgot what I was going to say. That's okay. I lost my trailer, though. That's okay. So, this kind of leads us on to... I'm so distracted by Kendall. Why does she choose now to suddenly start playing around? She's and doing playing really with cute things. Catnip avocado, and she's literally bombing it around the living room. She's she just... never this cute and playful, and the minute we'd get the camera out to record something she starts playing she just threw her avocado at my playstation then. yes she did yeah. <laughs> so yes anyway so should we do this individually or should we do it together what we've decided I, th I, th I think well explain it and then you know I'll, I'll okay so what we've decided is we're gonna stay vegan mm -hmm. we we're aware it's quite a big change and that we've been yes we've been doing it for a month already so we feel we may as well just carry on it's not even like may as well not like, oh, no not may as well but we've enjoyed it enough to want to carry on yeah so we're almost kind of gonna take it a month by month aren't we mm -hmm. um not put too much pressure on it yeah as long as we keep enjoying it um and we are still feeling good from it if we ever get to a point where it's making us feel ill or mm -hmm. anything bad then obviously we'll have to reassess it yeah but at the minute whilst we're getting all these benefits from it and feeling really well from it and enjoying it we don't see why we shouldn't carry on yeah definitely. we have genuinely really enjoyed it it's not once felt like a chore like the first shop i did i was excited and it's kind of still carried on throughout the whole month mm. i've been excited to go shopping find new things because literally every supermarket does something different don't they yeah where are you going? Just turn the doorbell off. Oh. See, so yeah, that's our doorbell. Gary's at the door. Wanted to come in. 
But yeah, we have really enjoyed it, haven't we? Yeah. Every supermarket trip's been fun and different. Because every supermarket, like I say, it's done something different. And we're like, oh, let's try that. Oh. I think it was, is it, it's been, has it been Sainsbury's has been our best, best supermarket yeah. so far? Yeah, Sainsbury's is really good. Yeah, Sainsbury's has been really, really good. They've had all sorts of different stuff, the stuff that we've already had before. So, yeah, Sainsbury's has been a bit of a game changer for us, really, which has been great. Yeah, yeah. Like, I... I love going to, uh, like shopping. It's probably like one of my favourite pastimes. <laughs> so I found shopping as a vegan really, really fun. Like I've really enjoyed looking at all the different alternatives and everything. Like, I've really, really enjoyed it. And I just kind of bring it all home and show Jane. She's like, oh, cool, great. Um, kind of more just grateful that she didn't have to go. I do, I do go shopping. Obviously, if I, I don't, I make it sound like I can never go shopping. You do everything. No, you but do go shopping. Do go you sh just don't enjoy it like I do. No, and I do literally if i've got a list i stick to the list i don't stray from the path because i ain't got time to mingle i ain't got time to wander i just want to get so in busy. i want to get out just... yes long story short we are continuing mm -hmm. um and it kind of leads us on to the end in which i want to say i started out this channel in january when we were doing veganuary and i think i've gained quite a few subscribers that are vegan and have wanted to see our journey and it's actually been really, really nice because mm -hmm. the support and everything we've had from you guys has been really, really nice yeah. and encouraging to, for us to continue, hasn't it? Yeah, everyone's just been so lovely. Yeah, and we've genuinely appreciated all of your comments yeah. and support and suggestions and everything. It's been really, really nice and I don't think we probably could have done it without them. No, definitely not. It's been, it has been like greatly appreciated as well and obviously Anna, she's helped us along yeah. the way as well. So, yeah. you know, big thanks to her as well. So yeah, we've had more support than I think we first thought we would, if that makes sense. Mm. You, you know, you don't know how these things are going to go. But no, it's been, everyone's been great. Yeah, so I just want to say thank you really. Um, and obviously to Mom and Anna for the uh, little packages we've had through yeah. the door. They've been really nice and encouraging. Um, yeah, uh, so yeah, I just want to say thank you mm -hmm. and um, watch this space for more fun content from us, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Got a fun one coming up. Um, I may have ordered a massive delivery <laughs> of Chocolate something I'm not going to tell you, oh, but Jay, she told you. <laughs> That's absolutely fine. So yeah, watch this space. Um, we kind of felt like we owed you guys a update. We wanted, yeah. to, we wanted to let you know and see if you guys have any of the same feelings when you were first going vegan or if you're thinking about it, hopefully this has helped you. Um, yeah, just wanted to end it there, I guess, and just saying thank you. Mm, thank you, guys. Yeah. It's been good. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Please subscribe to see more. And we'll see you in the next video. Yes.